Fox Studios has had the biggest year at the worldwide box office of any studio in history. According to reports, Fox Movies made over $5.5 billion in 2014, beating the previous record by over $350 million. Fox's results were propelled by films like X-Men Days of Future Past, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Gone Girl, How to Train Your Dragon 2, The Maze Runner, The Fault in Our Stars, and a number of other films. John Byers sell this new record by Fox. I, I, it's surprising, but I really, really buy it because you wouldn't think Fox, right? But it goes back to what we were talking about earlier. For a, for a number of years, the whole rep of Fox amongst a lot of film fans was, oh, Fox, they don't know what they're doing. Fox is terrible. Fox is bad. And who, look, whether that was true at some point or not is, is certainly an issue for debate. But when you look down this list, it's like you realize, holy crap, they really have one, had one hell of a year between Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, maybe the best X-Men film we've ever had, Gone Girl, How to Train Your Dragon 2. I like The Maze Runner. Uh, the, everybody loved The Fault in Our Stars. And they had a couple crappers too along the way, but that's going to happen when you put it out. They have had an excellent year and seem to be on a fantastic trajectory. If, if there ever was any problems, they've righted those problems. And it's encouraging, though, you just naturally would think Disney would have held that record right. or Marvel holds right. that record. It, it's an interesting thing, Christian. Well, I, was gonna, I'm, I buy it. It's, it's great for Fox. And you list off those movies and you understand that they're putting out quality stuff. And it goes back again to you have to give credit to the team over there. Because you look yeah. at all the stuff that's happened with Sony and how that team was in big trouble throughout those emails we saw. This team over at Fox is doing the right things, not only with X-Men, with everything that they're working on. But I have to reference Rocky III. Right now, they are Rocky <laughs> Balboa, and Disney next year is Clubber Lang. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at him going, dead meat. You know, because it's like they, next year, Disney's going to hold the title. Oh, you're dead meat. <laughs> That's not how Clubber Lang sounds. <laughs> hey, woman. Oh, 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 Lang. Oh, oh, you're real man. Get out of here, fool. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm getting the fool that tries to kick Clubber Lang. But dead meat. All I see, all I can think about now is the Mickey Mouse in South Park. Oh. And then their version of him. Uh, anyway, snap. Oh, yay, yay, Fox. You know, for years, <laughs> I, uh, the only... <laughs> yay, Fox! Yay, yay, Fox! Can't play the fool another oh, Fox. Dun, 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 dun. That's all I would think about is like, oh, it's the beginning of the Star Wars movie. That's how for years I would I think know, about it. I know, right? Century Fox was like, ah, oh, if it doesn't have that little drum roll and then the little... And then, bang, you know what, all that stuff. You know, just to hop on that, I remember about a year ago, shortly after the announcement came out that Disney now bought Lucasfilm and stuff like that, well, somebody wrote in an email on Mailbag, and we addressed it. And I kind of scoffed at them at first, right? Because the question was, do you think Disney can get permission from 20th Century Fox to play the 20th Century Fox logo at the beginning anyway, just for nostalgia's sake. I'm like, that's so stupid. And I thought about it, you're right. I yeah. wanted to cry, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. The idea that I'm gonna see a Star Wars movie without that dun dun, yeah. dun dun dun. Maybe like, Disney can rip it off and just have the magic right. ki kingdom, you know, with like uh, <laughs> doing the same exact with the lights and everything. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fantastic. I'm sorry, I interrupted. <laughs> I was done, I have nothing, you guys covered it. Fox, yeah, I mean, you know. That, I always thought those were lightsabers in the corner. I always thought when I was a kid. I mean, what, it's, it's so funny to hear the 20th century Fox, now that they kicked that dead weight Star Wars franchise to the curb, <laughs> now has the record. I totally agree with what Christian said, is that the records were made to be broken. Mm -hmm. But you look at the you look at the actual films that we're talking about here, and it's the importance of having a diverse slate when you're talking about a studio, because you can do the big comic book film, you can do a film like Gone Girl that gets Oscar contention, and then something like Planet of the Apes, where it crosses over so many different boundaries, plus How to Train Your Dragon 2, which is a family film that also entertained adults a lot, so just so many different kinds of movies. And then Maze Runner, was kind of like the heat check because if the end of Maze Runner is pretty much like, hey, can you give us another two hundred million dollars? <laughs> so the really scourge going trials for it. or whatever it's called, right? They already yeah. have the sequel. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions contests and prize giveaways.